up guys, it's Rectified here, and in today's episode, we'll be playing some more Red Dead Redemption, and what we'll be doing is we'll be um, playing um, some more missions, today we'll be doing, I think we might be doing, yep, an Irish mission, so we need to head over there right now, let me just set a waypoint, and after that we might be doing a Nigel, we a Nigel West Dickens mission, sorry I can't say it properly, so yeah, I'll see you when we get there. Okay guys, so we've made it over to Thieves Landing, and that this will be where the um, mission takes place, so we'll just make it over there right now. So we're just going to stop here, and we're just going to make it to the Irish mission. So I'm just going to walk there right now. Up, sister! Put... Dim. Up. Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, I'm good. Blimey. But I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there. Oh, oh. oh Mr. Marston. How are you? Ashamed. Shame to know you. The hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish, that Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> ah. Come on. I know where we can find the, the parts for you. Oh, mother fucking Mary. How about a drink or two, mister? No thank you, my dear. Okay, so we need to find the parts for the Gatling gun to get it working again, because unfortunately the Gatling gun we got in the last episode is missing some parts, and we need to go get them. So we're just going to follow our Irish. Drunk as I am, my prick's in fine working order. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking, defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Don't go getting all Christ, the church Yo, has more money us. than anybody. Ain't nobody that fucks with me. Where are we going, Irish? Three Just to the warehouse here in Thieves Landing. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. Hobble-tongued feller by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. All right, we're here. Stay close. Okay, so this is where we need to get the parts. And we're just checking the gate right now. Well, I'll be buggered. This door was supposed to be unlocked. Oh, well, we'll go around the back. Shaky's probably... Okay, so we're gonna have to go the other way around, guys, which is, um... Just this way. Just need to accompany Irish. I'm starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. You can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drift. This is your last chance, you good for nothing, shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time.
Keep your eyes open. Shakey's all right, but I don't trust the gang of fools he runs with. Shakey's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh. Shite. Sounds like Sheik has only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> oh! Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly... At an old time, hi. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good look, Marston. He's a good man, that shaky. Again! <laughs> I'll be waiting out by the front gate with the wagon. Good luck. Okay, so we need to climb the ladders, and then we're gonna go inside this house to rescue Shaky. So, we're just gonna climb him right now. And I think we need to crouch to avoid attention. So, yeah, we need to go up this lap. Actually, no, we go through this one. So, we're trying to rescue Shaky. And I think we do go down. If I go the wrong way. Actually, nah, I think I could just jump down. Kindness, Mister. I thought th 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 I, I was a dead man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. All right, let's get out of here while we got the chance. Okay, so um, we need to defeat all these bandits. Hold on. To loot. Need to run, not loot, sorry. Right, we need to head for the door, and um, we're just gonna follow Shaky. Open the gate. So there we are. This is where we're meant to get all the parts for the Gatling gun. Right here in this backyard. So we need to go and kill them all. One more guy we need to defeat, and that is him over here. Hold on, let me just loot these corpses first, then I will go to Shirky. So I'm racking up quite a bit of money. I don't know if in, if in the next episode I should spend it or whatever.
Now we're even. Half even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Sh -sh 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 -shake. <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. More, you dirty fu 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 fucking snake. Uh, bu 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 All right, her. gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Fucking. Fuck. Oh, my virgin ears. Fuck. All right, pop on. I'll get us out of here. Okay, so we're now getting out of here onto the um, wagon so we can ride away with all the stuff that we got. Come on, time we was making tracks. Did you have fun in there, you and Shay? So we're meant to provide provide us like um, gun girl. support because there's going to be people chasing us on the way. So yeah. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's got to drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just a glory like you. Right, air to come in. Shoot those bastards! I'm gonna hit there them we are. Violence. So we've got to protect the wagon from bandits. Right, we've got all these um, coming after us. Jesus, we really roughed the feathers back there! How many are there? I don't like this match. Me heart beating like a bloody drill. Just drive, Irish. You're acting like a schoolgirl. I'm telling you, Irish, that machine gun had better work after all this. Don't you worry. You won't find a finer piece of artillery west of Dublin. Look out, there's one on the bridge up ahead. Oh, there's one on the bridge. I don't know if I can take much more of this. You're shooting my enemy. You're a real cold blooded killer, Irish. Here come more, damn bastards. We should consider making this a more permanent partnership. I think I've about had my fill of liars in this life, partner. Well, I think you're ready for parts, master. You got enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm gonna need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Impressive, Marston. We'll have West Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. Okay guys, so we've just done the Irish mission, so the next mission we need to do is the Nigel West Dickens mission. So we're just going to set a waypoint now. So he's normally far away off to here, over in the west. So we need to go get our horse and I will see you when we make it there. Okay guys, so we've made it over to the Nigel West Dickens mission. And what we need to do is we need to just go to the mission and start it of course. Well, I was a little too fast. Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. 
I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Let's go, my dear boy. I'll show you the way. Okay, so we're getting on the carriage. Hold on. Oh, uh, no, we are. <laughs> we're just getting on, on our horse. So we're just going to do that right now. So we're riding all the way up to the races, I think. To earn some cash so we can modify Mr. West Dickens' um, carriage so that we can fit the Gatling gun on it. And then we'll be able to do the raid on Fort Mesa. Okay, so we've made it to the races, and um, we're just going to get to the starting line. So, yeah. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight, or bleed heavily, or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set. Yeah. Okay, so we need to do this race, and we need to follow all these horses. Nice try, mister. Back. Get back. So I need to win the race in first place to earn the money that we need to modify the carriage. So yeah, we need to go under these flares like we did last time. So we're just making it over to the... Boom. Hold on guys. Okay guys, so we are back and um... What we're just doing is we're just um... Oh, I ran out of speed. I still need to finish in first place, so yeah. Hold on guys. So we're just gonna go up here. Whoa, I fell off my horse. Right, I'm gonna need to get back on my horse first, so yeah. Okay, so we're still doing it, and um, we're in sixth place, but it's getting fast, so yeah. Alright, 
Alright, so Nelly may have come in. So I uh, just making it to this one here. Well, I've run out of a lot of speed, so this is pretty hard. got this one. So we're in first right now, so we'll try not to lose that. I've nearly made it to start, I nearly made it to finish. He came, he saw, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? All right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Okay, guys, so, uh, um... We've just done this today's episode, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye.